What's going on, Killer Clan? Welcome back to Giant Foods. Did you ever get like really hungry? I mean, like really super hungry. And somebody breaks out one of these things and is like, hey, here you go, hungry man. I'm like, does this look like it's going to satisfy my killer size appetite? I don't think so. We're gonna go ahead and put together a killer size hungry man, or as I like to call it, hungry Dan. All right, so as we refer to the Hungry Man dinner, we've got meatloaf, mashed potatoes, mixed vegetables, and a brownie. Meatloaf, six pounds of meatloaf, mashed potatoes. Well, the starting of Third of mashed Insta potatoes. Spuds. We got the mixed vegetables, three and a half pounds of mixed vegetables. In the finale. Yeah, that's that's where it's at. That's right where it's there. at. A two-pound brownie. So that's what I consider a hungry man challenge, not a hungry Dan. Now, obviously this is giant foods and you're used to watching us cook, but if you've ever cooked a meatloaf, especially a six-pound meatloaf, you can't cook that in a timely fashion. So we cooked that last night, but there it is. And this has like a gravy on it. And I've got a beef gravy to put on top of it. So I think we have all the makings of a Hungry Dan meal right here. It's gonna be a killer size version of this. Now I think maybe Mr. Poole might wanna warm this up and actually eat it. See if he can finish this faster and I can finish that. <laughs> so the Hungry Man dinner is one pound. Mm. And we're making like a 14 pound version of this. So it's gonna be like 14, it's gonna be like over a dozen of these. All right, Mr. Poole. So if you ever wonder what a six pound meatloaf looks like, there it is. That's what a six pound meatloaf is. That's a pretty hefty meatloaf. That is a pretty heavy meatloaf. Now, another reason I couldn't show you this is because it's a secret recipe. So, take it for what it's worth. It's a huge section of meatloaf, but I'm going to make it look like the Hungry Man, so I'm going to transfer it to the plate. At least there's no bacon in this video. Nobody will get all triggered by the fact that the bacon is. Supposedly uncooked. <laughs> Even though it's clearly cooked. Completely uncooked. It's, it's clearly cooked. Make this a little bit more like the uh, thin slices that come on this. There you go, Mr. Poole. It's sliced. Okay. Look at this. I know what you're thinking. The gravy's cold, yes, but the meat's hot and it's going to warm up. Plus, I got steamy mashed potatoes to put on this, which are already blistering hot. Alright, get this big old helping of mashed taters. Unlike Unlike my shepherd's pie, those aren't a fail. They're actually mashed potatoes. So, yes, I actually did. Did you grease it? Greasy. Almost a grease the switch. Oh, it looks like it'll come out of there. Oh yeah. I got an idea. Uh, kind of worked. Kind of. So, that's a hundred pound meatloaf. And see if we can, like, oh, dude, epic. Alright, Killer Clan, so 
as you can see, I got my hungry man here. Actually, this is my hungry man right in front of me. Look at this thing. Six pounds of meatloaf, five pounds of mashed potatoes, two pounds of brownies, and three pounds of vegetables, which is almost as bad as french fries, but I'm gonna power through them probably first because I don't really even like the taste of vegetables. I don't mind carrots and corn, but there's some beans and peas in there. Not my favorite, but nonetheless, this is what I call a hungry man dinner. More like a hungry Dan. So we're gonna see how long it takes to eat this gigantic hungry man meal. I'd also like to give a special shout out to one of my Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers that sponsored this challenge. You know who you are and I really appreciate this. So I hope you enjoy the challenge as much as I'm going to. All right, oh. so I gave this thing a few minutes to cool down. Of course, the vegetables are steaming hot and my mashed potato pile, I'm sure once I start digging around in that, it's gonna be hot. But just for reference, remember that this is what a normal, this is what a normal one looks like. Actually, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll even open it. There's 650 calories in this little thing. So you can only imagine what's in this thing. I have no idea, but if I can figure it out, I'll put it on the screen for you. Without further ado, the world's largest hungry man killer edition hungry Dan challenge. Three, two, one. Hungry Dan. Big meals call for big scepters. I got a fork and a spoon. I got gravy, I got meatloaf. That's a good loaf. Mmm. Tender. Mm, that is good. Got my little friend ketchup here. Just to give her a little something extra. Rest my gravy on my tater. I don't even know what I had that in the cabin for. This is something. Kind of want to cheese a little bit and give a little bit of this brownie. <laughs> Who says it has to be in order, right? You never know when you're gonna die. You should probably eat dessert first. That's the pool at the wrong point. <clears throat> Funny story about these vegetables. They were supposed to be a steam in the bag. I kind of cut the bags open, and then I was like, ah! So they got warmed on top of the stove. Try my potatoes since I didn't screw them up this time. Yeah, they're definitely nothing like the ones on the uh, shepherd's pie because that was a fail. Epic fail. Mm, I'm gonna drop. Yeah, steam coming out of that puppy. <clears throat> Maybe dunk him in water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no supposed to be cold I do that. I'm a rebel. I remove a USB without safely ejecting it first. I think they mix vegetables together to try to trick kids thinking they're like M&Ms because they're multiple different colors. We need ball for it. Oh, 
No, oh, milk chocolate and a dash. That really ups the retail value. I think you're gonna be okay here. Think of a thin candy shell. <laughs> Comment below if you know what movie that's from. Your head has a thin candy shell. Shut up, Richard. I put Italian seasoning and everything in it. was good. It'd be amazing how much some seasoning can go. A little bit of seasoning can go a long way. I'm just putting that after. I think right here, single-handedly, my favorite part of the meatloaf, the butt. I was I eat my lunch at mom's house, and I was like, hey, can I have the butt of the meatloaf? And there's that little crust on the end of it. Mm, so it's kind of like the end of the bread loaf. Oh. The heels are the best part. Heels make the best sandwiches. Heels make the best peanut butter toast. I'm gonna listen to Mr. Foley. Like no, no. Interesting fact, and I'm not a doctor, but you want to know how fast or slow your digestive system is, just eat some corn and time its trip, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Some people that would make the full trip in half a day, not me. I'm a 24 hour guy. Mr. Poole would already be farting meatloaf. I just seriously like that fast. I was a little bit skeptical whether this meatloaf was going to be good being that I cooked it last night. No, it's, it's good because I put it back in the oven for like two hours. Warmed it through. It's delicious. <clears throat> I still feel like these potatoes are going to be super, super hot. Yep. So we're about 15 minutes into this thing and there's Anderson's shiny moment. He's uh, been patiently waiting for a piece of loaf. Is it good? Delicious. 
If he could talk, he would say, Not in the future. Exactly. He's the only living thing I know that chews less than Molly Schumer. <clears throat> it's a reward for finishing your meal. Like when we were a little league, as soon as the game was over, we go and get ice cream. It's a snack shack. It's no longer exists. That was uh, like 27 years ago. All right, so about 19 minutes in, we got all the meatloaf out. We got the vegetables gone. We got a big mountain taters. And then this lovely square of deliciousness. Cool. Lovely square. For some reason, I feel like mine looked better than this one did. He's still steaming hot after 20 minutes on the table. Too bad. Seriously, I'm about ready to shit myself. That may or may not have been wet. Too bad. <sighs> We're out of space. <clears throat> Too much water. They've been using like two cups to get these mashed potatoes down.
Hey, I'm doing a short. Come on, we're so close. This is tough. Wow. 32 39. Alright, Kettle Clan, so there it is. The uh, Hungry Dan challenge instead of the Hungry Man. I mean, here's this little thing here. I'll keep that for maybe a snack or something. I'm not really hungry for meatloaf, mashed potatoes, mixed vegetables, or a brownie anytime soon. That thing was every bit of about 15 pounds. Wow. That was rough. But nonetheless, I appreciate the subscriber that sponsored this video i think this is her second or third uh sponsored video so i appreciate that if you want to sponsor a challenge contact me information is below paypal and venmo follow me on instagram facebook and twitter at the killer kennedy and until next time go outside <coughs> yeah go outside me coma go to walmart or wise or wherever you got giant eagle big bird whatever you got Get yourself a hungry man or if you're super hungry, make yourself a hungry Dan. Take it easy.